In this video, we're going to talk about the demand for money. The demand for money is a correlation between the amount of money held in hand and the interest rate. Ceteris paribus, as the interest rate increases, the amount of money held in hand decreases. Vice versa, as the interest rate decreases, the amount of money held in hand increases. We can see that in the demand curve for money, MD, below. Again, it plots the relationship between the amount of money held in hand, which is on the horizontal axis, and the interest rate, or R, which is plotted on the vertical axis. We can see this inverse relationship. As the interest rate, or R, increases, the amount of money held in hand, or M, decreases. As the interest rate, R, decreases, the amount of money held in hand, M, increases. On this slide, we're going to talk about some of the factors that change the demand for money and shift the demand for money curve. First is real GDP. As real GDP increases, real income increases. As real income increases, the demand for money also increases. And second is price level. As the price level increases, the demand for money increases. Below, we can see these effects graphically. Our original demand for money curve is MD0. First, let's talk about the shift in red, or the shift from MD0 to MD1. This represents an increase in demand for money. This can be caused by an increase in real GDP or an increase in price level. Now let's talk about the leftward shift or inward shift of the demand for money curve from MD0 to MD2. This shift in the demand for money curve represents a decrease in the demand for money. This could be caused by a decrease in real GDP or a decrease in price level. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.